Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got Australia with me. She's been a little bit shy. There she is. <laughs> um, yeah, so today I shall be showing you how I made up her new vivarium, how I put it together and stuff because it finally came. So I did a bit of a, um, a build video yesterday um, and she was in a box um, for about two hours unfortunately but it had to be done so I got her old tank, cleaned it out, put the new one, set the new one up and everything and uh, yeah so I shall just be showing you that video of uh, what I did but yeah she seems to be settling in all right I've still got a few little bits and bobs uh, to put in their tank I've still got some ropes and a little bit more foliage to put in but uh, I thought I would just let let her settle in for a bit but she seems all right <laughs> but yeah there we go say hello <laughs> I think she's kind of marked her territory already because um, I found a poo in there today um, on her little wooden table thing so I'll be cleaning that up but uh, but yeah so anyway so I shall just get straight on with the video and thanks again for watching it means a lot to me see you in a bit so I have finally got my vivarium for Australia and that is it all packaged up so uh, I shall be doing the uh, build later on. I've got little Australia here and she is going to be going into a nice new tank. There's her old one behind me. Um, so yeah so I'm just going to sort of empty that out and clean it up, put it in the other room and then I will show myself building her new vivarium. So these are all the pieces that have come today in that package and I'm just going to clean them. Hi everyone, so this is where I'm going to be putting um, Australia's new vivarium. Um, I've just got to sort of clean the sides and the top and the base and all the rest of it before I actually put the vivarium together. Uh, and I just want to let you know that I actually got this vivarium from Provivs. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to get on with uh, cleaning these little bits and bobs and then I'll show you kind of how I put it together. So I've decided to actually build the vivarium here on this table because it's going to be here anyway. So. I may as well build it on here rather than kind of building it on the floor then having to lift it up and all the rest of it because they are quite heavy. So yeah, so I'm going to be um, building it on here. I have all my little screws and bits and bobs so I shall just go and get some tools and I will start putting all these together. I'll actually show you what I've got. Just a matter of using these. Um, I don't really know um, what they're called but yeah they're like little screw type things and then there's these sort of little round ones which have got like a sort of little cross head type thing and whatnot at the back so yeah, again I don't know what they're called but I do know where to like put them and all the rest of it so yeah so I'm just going to get on with that. So first things first you have to put these little longer screws um, in the corresponding holes that are on this base so I'll, I shall just get on and do that so that's then done for now so um, I think the next bit that I put on is the back, so I shall just go and do that. So this also has um, corresponding holes as well, and that's what the uh, screws kind of slot into. That's 
so that's the back part let's get the sides and that's the sides on so as you can see these there's like these bigger sort of holes here and that's what these screws um, go into just to sort of secure it and stuff when you sort of fix it all together and put the uh, the top on. I think the next thing is the runners which is these there we go wonderful right so I think what I'm going to do is put the top on now and then do the screws up actually I'll do the screws up first so as you can see in that little hole there's a screw there and I shall be putting one of these sort of round sort of crosshead screw thingies in um, as I put this in I might have to give the side a bit of a wiggle but I'm not sure right I will so I'm going to try and film this as best I can turn it clockwise so yeah so that's that in and uh, yeah it's starting to look pretty good so I'm just going to put the top on and then we should be done but yeah starting to look good so hot that's my bottle of water gone I've had a struggle getting these in the two like back corners I just cannot get them in for the life of me so I'm going to leave them out she's not going to be able to escape out of there anyway so um, but yeah so the next thing um, that I'm going to do is put some uh, self adhesive hooks in uh, all around the back because they've all got that and then hang the fairy lights in there that I like having in with them so um, and I've also got one of these to put in a nice uh, little thermometer as well as one of these as well um, and I have a lock a nice brand new lock oh, it's upside down but uh, it's a high hygrometer thing to just measure the humidity so, yeah <laughs> so you get the picture with that and um, also I have another digital uh, high grommeter to um, you know see what the humidity is like in there so that normally goes on the back of a tank in the middle it's been hard work but I am enjoying putting this all together it is fun I shall just get on with putting the hooks in and the fairy lights and I'll show you bit by bit what I'm doing these are the little hooks that I use and um, to put around their tanks on the inside they've got self adhesive bit on the back so um, I normally put about, I'm just trying to think, I'll probably put about 16 hooks in, 16 to 20 depending. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to get on and do that. Hopefully they stick alright because sometimes they don't. And when they don't, I just sort of end up putting a small nail into the side of the wall. And then if something's fallen down, then I'll hang it from that nail. But I just prefer using these generally. The fairy lights are in. They're looking really nice. So there we go. Next thing I'm going to do is put the heat mat there. So now I have the probe for the cool sides just in there. And I have her heat mat with her probes on. And I also have the hygrometer thingy, hydrometer, whatever you call it. Um, so yeah, and I'm now going to put some substrate in her tank. So that is the foliage up for now. I might add a few more little bits of foliage, but um, yeah. And I'm going to put this lovely new hide in that I got her. So it's really big and she can curl up in it and whatnot. I bought Australia this cute little corner house. There we go. Uh, to go in her new tank and the water bowl is in there along with her table and her big hide oh and the other little thermometer and hydrometer thingy as you can see through 
the legs of that table well, and her logs as well put her logs in there um, and now I've just put that uh, corner hide in there as well now I'm just going to put the glass in I think we're finished. Woohoo! I've got rather a lot of tidying up to do, but I'm just going to go and get Estrella and put her in her lovely new tank. And here she is. <laughs> there we go. Right, so I'll just put her in her tank and see how she gets on. Um, Australia's tank all lovely and new and clean and whatnot so uh, yeah I'm really pleased with it um, and I think she's gone and hidden straight away she's been in that box for the past two hours so um, but yeah I think she's gone in her little log hides but I'll leave her for now um, and I'll come and check on her a bit later on but yeah so I'm just gonna do some tidying up and uh, then I'll be done So if you enjoyed that video please like and subscribe and if you have any questions uh, please pop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but for now from myself and Australia it is goodbye and uh, we shall see you next time.